All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking a look at day seven math. All right. So let's take a look at number one. It says, describe the location of the barber shop in relation to town hall. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit more. All right, so now. Barbershop, town hall. Barbershop, town hall. Okay, they're the two we're looking at. So now, all right, so just so we can see a little bit better. So remember, coordinates are x, y. X is the horizontal one. That's this big and right here. That's x. And then this one is our y. Okay. Now, the barber shop is right there. And town hall is right there. So let's look at, uh, let's go to the barber shop first, because that's the first one that was on the uh, question. Barber shop. So if I look at x first, remember it's x comma y. If I look at x first, where is it on the x? One, two, three, four, five. And where is it on the y? Oh, zero. Okay. Remember the five is the horizontal and the zero is the vertical. Okay, so the barber shop is at five comma zero. Town hall. Same thing, x comma y. Where is it on the x? Hmm, hmm, zero. Where is it on the y? Hmm, zero. Okay, so the town hall is at zero, zero, and the barbershop is at five, zero. So describe the location of the barbershop in relation to the town hall. Well, it is to the right of town hall. Or you could say it is to the east, because we have our little compass rose right there. Okay, it's not too bad. Let's go to number two. What building is located seven blocks east and five blocks north of Town Hall? So here's Town Hall. Seven blocks east. East is this way. I mean, that's X. So we got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five blocks north. One, two, three, four, five. So now where does this meet? They meet at the firehouse. So that means the firehouse's coordinates are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on the X, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the Y. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Travel to get to the supermarket. Oh, looks like I cut part of that problem off. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Travel to get to the supermarket. Travel to get to the supermarket. Uh, okay, Violet, Violetta is at the library. Describe how she's going to get to the supermarket. So she's at the library and needs to go to the supermarket. All right, hold on. Let me pull my screen back up. There we go. I can see now. Okay. So she's here. And she wants to get to the supermarket, which is here. So let's go with the compass row. So we got north, south, east, west. So let's go east first. Remember, that's our X. And then we'll go either north or south. We'll go south. All right. So east, she's got to go one, two, three. And then south, she's going to go one, two, three. So for her to get from the library to the supermarket, she's got to go three east, 
then three south. Okay. Okay. Pretty easy. Pretty cool. I like coordinate plans. They're neat. Town Hall and the bank are located on the same vertical, vertical number line. Okay. Town Hall and the bank. Town Hall and the bank. The number zero represents the location of Town Hall on the number line. What number represents the location of the bank? Well, let's see. So Town Hall is 0, 0, 0, 0x, 0, 0y. The bank, well, let's see. Still going to be 0x, but you're going 1, 2, 3, 4, but it's going to be 4y. Okay, so the bank is 0, 4, or specifically, based on the question, just 4, because that's where it is on the y-axis. Pretty cool. Okay, let's keep going. Vocabulary. Okay, the coordinate plane. I think we got that beat pretty good now, so I think we're good. Quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. Remember, quadrant 1, again, I've already done this in a previous video, is positive, positive, x and y. Okay. Quadrant two, so that's going to be a negative positive. It's a negative x because it's on that side, but it's still a positive y. Quadrant three is negative negative, negative x and a negative y. And quadrant four is a um, positive x and a negative y. Match the ordered pair for each point on the coordinate plane below. All right, A, B, C, D, E. A, so let's see, on the X, always do the X first. So zero, zero here, so it's one, two. Okay. Well, those numbers are kind of deceiving right there, aren't they? So this is in halves. We've got to be careful. So that's a negative half, negative one, one and a half, negative one and a half, negative two. Okay, so each of these is a half, so we have to be careful. Okay. So negative half, negative one. So it's going to be negative one is the x. Half, one, one and a half. One and one half is going to be the y. Y is still positive. Okay, so remember, it's positive, positive here, negative, positive here, negative, negative here, positive, negative there. B. Okay, let's do the X first. Negative a half, negative one, negative one and a half. So we have negative one, one half. The Y is also negative, half, one, negative one. Okay, C, half, one, one and one half, one and one half, it's all positive, and it's a positive one for the Y. D, half, one, one and a half, so it's a positive one and one half, but it's going to be a negative one. Okay, so half, one, one and a half, coming down, coming over. Coming up, coming over. Okay. And then the last one, E, it's a positive one on the X, but a negative two on the Y. All right. I think that's pretty good. I don't know if you need much more than that from me. I think that kind of covers those. Let's take a look at these last couple. It says number one. Here are the scores for landing an arrow in the colored regions of the archery target. Okay, so that's going to be 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. All right. Andre shot three arrows, and they landed at negative 5, 4. Let's do that one first. Negative 5 and 4. 
So negative 5 and 4. That's where they meet. Negative 8 and 7. Negative 8, 7. And that's where they meet. 1 and 6. 1 and 6. That would be mine, way over there. That's Mr. Lenhart's. Okay, so the reason I drew the lines here is just to kind of show you how they connect. I think you had it at this point, but I'm going to make sure you're pretty good. So let's count it up. Okay, so let's start with the first one, negative 5 and 4. Negative 5 and 4 was right here in the blue, so they got 1 in the blue. Negative 8 and 7 is in the red. They got 1 in the red. And then 1 and 6, that would count as the white. So that means I'd have 8, 6, and 2. So that would be 16 points. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Jada shot an arrow that scored 10 points. She shot a second arrow that landed directly below the first one, but scored only two points. Name two coordinates that could be landing points of her two arrows. All right, let me erase that a little bit so we can see it better because it's in the way now. All right, so she got 10 points first. So remember, it, yellow was 10, red is 8, green is 6, I'm sorry, blue is 6, green is 4, white is 2. She got 10 points, so that means she got one yellow, and then she got two points, which means then she was, she shot a second arrow that landed directly below the first one, but only scored two points. Okay, and then she was there. All right, now I get you with being directly below. So, let's go yellow, and we're going to go dead square right there. So hers was... A negative seven and five. Remember that's X and Y. So that was her ten points. Now, directly below. So when I first thought of that, I'm like, well, how can't be? Because that would then be in the red, and that doesn't make any sense. Well, that's not what they meant by directly below. Directly below, they meant all the way down here. Okay? It meant straight down. In other words, they're staying on the same x-axis okay so it's still negative 7 but it's changing the y-axis now it's going to be 1 okay so when it says directly below they mean it's staying on the y-axis below is the vertical line where the vertical line is y so directly below means straight down but in the white all right. Good job, guys. Hope that helps.